So I'm going to do this slightly different. I'm going to give my feedback and my commentary on two videos. Two videos that I haven't shared already. And just see things how... Just say things how I see them. So you don't have to agree with everything. It's just my own personal thoughts. And, um, you know, hopefully if you could give me the same feedback on my game, then I would really appreciate it. So cheers. Here's to you. Yeah, good serve, good return. Bit dodgy from Amit. Okay, this is a good, this one's good to look back at. Because as Amit's done the return of serve, he's taken it far too low, first of all. So when Daniel serves like that, Amit's taken it too low. His head's not down. And Bobby, when he does a shot like that, you should, you should be on top of that. Any shot like that, that should be taken off at the top of the net. Okay, so I'll play it back in real time. So you've taken, only have you not taken it off the top of the net? You've taken it, you've taken it underhand, below the net, rather than coming in like that, being ready like that. So he serves. See how you're standing there right now, right? So let me play it back again. Serve. So you've gone the wrong way and you're taking it low. Not only did that, but you took it below the net. You tried to do a net, and he would have stepped in and do another net shot. So for those kind of shots, you know, it's getting your game quicker. So after the net serve comes over, be ready to attack that second shot. Bad backhand by me. See again, if, if anyone tries to do that return to the net, that should always be punished. Because whenever I try and do a return to the front of the net, people always put that one down. So we should be making sure that we're doing that as well. So you had your helm up, Bavi, that was good. Daniel, step over when Amit does that smash like that. You've lifted it right to the side. And as you've lifted it to the side, you've gone back to the middle, whereas you should have stepped across. So when he does that smash, you've had to reach. Maybe like you can watch one rally and just watch four different people and like, you know, have different comments. Okay, so let's break that one down. Okay, so I'll do the serve. Good return by Barbie. Okay, as, as I push it down, my next shot, I've stepped back. I should have, I should have taken that one down the line, or should, I, or should I have left it? I don't know there. So I do a push. It's not a great push because I lift it too high. But Daniel does a nice backhand down the back. And then Amit, remember, keep your eye on the shot. Look, the minute you make contact there, Amit, you're, you're looking already where you're hitting. Okay. So as that goes across there, I should be there with my racket up. Okay, so we play that. As Amit goes to do that cross court shot, I should be rack it up. Who intercepted that? Yeah, see, see, as soon as yeah, as soon as Amit does that shot, Barbie, your arm should already be up in that crouching with your racket, your arm back. It's so low and it's so down that by the time he does that, he by the time he hits it, look, he's hit it. Then your arm goes up, and then you try and hit it down. And then hits the net. Had your arm been up from this moment here, then you would have just been arm down. So you're there, you're ready, you're, you're thinking, but your arm and your racket's down. And your wrist, your wrist is not cocked. I serve way too fast, I need to take more time. Good return. Good drop, good, good. See, Daniel... Amit, that was a good push by you then. Look at that. Nice, as it comes down. Nice. More wrist though, Amit. More wrist. Yeah, and then he does that. Arm up. Um, Amit, put your arm up and be ready for that drive. Because once it goes down that low, there's only one way it can go. You, your racket shouldn't be that low net. Okay. And then Daniel, as you go for that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you usually do better with those shots there. Okay. 
Okay, let's, let's, let's take that again. Good smash, good drop, good lift. So, you know, that was a bit weak there. Okay, let's, let's, let's take it back right from the beginning. Okay, I serve. G, take more time with your serves. Bobby, giving away the lift. And Amit, you should be taking that forehand, right? You're standing here, right? The lift goes up. No, we're not splitting. But why are you taking that backhand? Okay, so you've, you've done it backhand. Uh, down your blocks. Lift, good lift. Good drop. Lift again. Smash. Uh, when Barbie smashes, Amit, why are you blocking? Why are you defending? Look at that defense. You're defending like this. Look at that defend. Forehand. Where, where's, where's the crouch down low? You're not crouch. You're standing up right straight. You get smashed up. You're standing right straight. Forehand. It's actually a pretty good good hit. All right. Daniel gives another net shot. You good? You reset. You come in again. And then it's a, and then from there, Barbie, you should be whacking that hard. That should be a nice reset from that point. I realize I'm not splitting the whole time either. Very good return by Daniel. Very good return by Amit. Good badminton there. Good push. Nice cross court play, Amit. Lovely net drop. Lovely recover there, Danny. See, Danny's got, Danny's becoming very good at covering the net. So there we go. In Barbie does a nice net shot. Remember, after the net shot, stand back a little bit and 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 even if you yeah, arm back, arm cocked. Because any shot that I do, you're gonna have to take it from the below the net now because you're not ready to attack. So I do the cross court and your arms all down low, down low. Then he comes in. That's the one that Mickey was saying reset. But sometimes they're difficult to reset when they're that deep. You can just barely get there. You forced me to do a lift again, and you won. You won the point. Good lift. Good net shot. So I like that because because it was cross court. You took it in forehand to set you up down the line. Good play. Good anticipation and good play. Very good. I like because then you're so fast and you're so tall that when you come in like that, you're intimidating. Look at that. From from the back of the court there, you hit one shot, and another shot you come straight back in. But like it down the line, see how Barbie you're moving backwards as he goes down the line. You you're, you're covering, and then Danny comes in intimidating, and he just does a little drop. You're gonna push it, you can clear it because the racket's open and it's ready. He can do whatever you want from there. He just drops it. I should have loaded there. See, no split by me. Danny plays that shot. Because I didn't split, I'm standing square on. No chance of me getting that. See, let's take that again. Very good by Barbie. Stepped in there, put it down. So the serve comes in. Amit, you do a good, good, good shot. Should I be coming in there? That's probably mine, that next one, right? Yep, that's mine. See, Barbie does, Bar Amit return, Barbie does a lovely push, I'm too far behind, I haven't loaded, I'm no way near to get that one. Anything but, anything in front of that, that line, I need to be, um, I need to be covering. Drive it down at Daniel, that's good, step in, push it down the body, force them to play another net shot and put it down. Good net shot, good net shot. Is that yours? Let's take a look again. So look, he serves to you, and by the time you take it, you're so far down. Look, look, look. You take it there. 
there. Look at that, that's at the bottom of the net. And so you put it back up. I guess you straight. Is, is that for yours? Maybe. But may, even if it is yours, if you hits it, your arm's not up and your, and your wrist is not locked. So whatever you place, you're going to have to reach and you're going to struggle. So as it goes back, then your arm goes back. So, so you go to it and hit rather than be there with the wrist already locked. See, Amit, you give away a high serve like that to Daniel. You're giving away the smash. He's got a big bang. Should I have defended it better? So it goes up. I'm in, I'm in line with it, but I'm too high. I should be a bit lower. Goes back. My head's not down. See, I'm swinging, but I'm still looking straight. No eye contact. No eye contact. You ain't going to hit it back. So yeah, Daniel, the shot comes down. Where's the head? Actually, the head is, yeah, the head's looking at contact point. But there's more risk required. Actually, that was just a bad shot. Good idea, good technique, just that the, 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 the execution didn't come off. See, that was good, Barbie. Okay. Good return. Forced Amit to stretch. Amit goes to do a push. Mickey says he hits everything hard. That was a nice soft one. But too high. Amit, look at your head. Full stretch. And then it gives Barbie a chance to come in. Elbow up. Remember, Barbie, keep your eye on the contact point. Your head's already turning to where the shot is going. And me, I'm just all over the gaff. When it comes to that, I should be down. Look, I'm standing straight up. It should be down, crouched low, ready to anticipate you coming to me like that. Instead, I do a weak, weak, crappy return. Good service. See, when you do that, that's what I'm saying. When you do a net shot, the person should be there attacking it with their arm flat ready to put it down. There should be no reason why you take it underneath. If they put it to the net like that, bam, that's the only one thing you're going to do. Good, you put it down. Let me see, Danny. As it came over, yep, your arms cocked back. But bad execution. Everything there was right and ready, bad execution. Head it out. You got more time. That's what Mickey was telling me today. We all got more time. Again, same place. Good cross court. Good drop down. Elbow goes back. Right idea there, Danny. That was a good one. Just over hit it. See, again, that return of serve is hit so low that anyone that sees that was covering the front is going to be looking to attack that. That has to be exact for them not to be hitting that down from so low. And then the next shot should be, you know, ready, defend. Yeah, when, when the minute that Daniel plays that, yeah, let's go back. So Daniel goes back. He does a drop. See, where you're standing. He does a drop. By the time, by the time he's hit it, you haven't moved in, Barbie. You're still in. You're still like your, your left foot's on the tee. He's dropped all the way to the right. You haven't moved in, so we need to, you're nowhere near cutting out. You swiped at it, but you're nowhere near it. Had you been a little bit closer, 
as it goes down there and the thing is as it goes down your your wrist is not locked and your racket's not back you're there so when it when it goes over as you go over it you're you're not locked and your wrist is not up so you're just swiping for it it's just that moment of always putting your arm up and just being here it goes up you're ready and remember i'm not a professional i'm not the best either myself i'm just based on what mickey's saying i'm just looking at this all right amit all right so amit that you've done that you've gone over a nice little push all right he's lifted up I'm no way ready. Why is my... Danny's about to hit him. My elbow's down. My racket's down. Amit, your rail kit's down. The only one here. Barbie, your racket's up. So me and Amit are no way... And Daniel's hitting it from below. Right? Daniel's hitting it from right at the bottom of the ground. Right there. And we're both waiting with our rackets down. Okay? And that's bad badminton. So it goes up. Now we have to... Re now as it goes up, we have to react. And so my shoulder doesn't go back. I just have to place it. I've got no, no power to do anything. Amit, you're coming in, running in like a steaming train. All right? I've raised it. This is my shot. You, look, we take it here, yeah? I've lifted it here. And he's going to drop. And you're going to take my shot because you've anticipated that. So you come steaming in and you try and do a, you two and do a funky shot where your head's not even looking at the shuttle. Your head's there, right? And you're trying to do like a, a win across court and you hit it into the net. If I'm going to raise it like this here, let me take the straight. You don't need to rush in and take it for me because then you've got no angle in which to do that. That's when you say sorry, Amit, for stuff like that. Lift. You should never lift on a, re on a serve. There should be very few reasons why you would want to lift return. You're just giving away the advantage. We work hard to get the lift. So when they serve to you and you just you, you just step in and you give away the little, she's serving like you're not even leaning in. You're standing right up straight. You're not bent down. So when she serves, you've only got one choice, up, okay. Now we're both under the attack now. So I should be in backhand defense. I don't know why I'm in forehand defense. It comes to me. I do a I do a poor lit. I do a poor return and I hit it out. Had I been waiting down, crouch low properly, backhand grip, or even just low with my elbow up. I could have done so much more. And that's a nice shot. I mean, you forced Daniel to go wide. It's a good shot. Good shot there. But Dan, Dan, you good court coverage. You got there. Lift it up high. But you out. That's a good resetting position. <clears throat> Good return, kept it down, lovely drop, forced me to do a crap shot. I should have reset as well. But the speed and the play and the, you know, from Barbie smash to Daniel leaping in and doing the lunge drop, it just put me out of position. Good, Amit. I like that change in play. Danny serves at you, you hold it, and then you clear it. So Danny, at this point, instead of taking it on the, on the forehand, which he usually does, He's opted for the backhand. And you can see by the way his feet moves. He does like a one on sure step. Okay, when you hit it, like, keep your head on the shuttle. But yeah, I think that one could have been split and then forehand. I've seen you do that many times on your forehand. But good hold and good um, forcing him to do the backhand. Good net shot. Good defense there. See, they said, was your racket up there as it came to you? Yep. So as it comes to you there, but actually as it, come, as it comes, your racket's down and it goes up and then down rather than being here in this position, being with your racket up and your elbow up at this moment right here. I'm hitting it. If you were there earlier like that, then that shot would have still happened. Good cross court again. See, see as he goes to play that, yeah. No, Danny, you were low there. But yeah, why does your racket come across like that? 
keep your keep your racket like that in that angle, yeah, and remain there. I don't know why it ends up there. Keep it there and just tap. Yeah, that's all you need. Just a little tap there. I mean, stay on court. Nice, put it down. Again, like, by me, when, when Barbie's smashing at you, why are you standing up like that? Okay. You serve, you go back, and you're standing straight up. Look at me, I'm right down low. You're standing up. And when she smashes to you, you stand up and you're taking it there. No one stands up to receive a smash. Okay. You play it back, it's a good return, but in the grand scheme of things, and yeah, Danny, when you return in this smash, you know, your body does a weird position. So as he smashes at you, your racket's down. Remember, you should be in that crouch position now because it's come so flat. But even still, when you take it down there, your racket has to come from down there to up here. Then you're looking up. Your whole body is standing up. Your whole six foot, whatever, are standing up right now. And you actually play a decent shot. You play it down there. But just the position could have been a bit better. Good serve, good return. See, that's what he's talking about. Get that high left clear because at the first couple of points, weren't because this is actually the, a few games in, so I'd seen you do that before. But let's rewind that a bit. Good serve. All right, I should have fully extended my arm there. When you serve to me, I should be fully that my arms bent, my head's still up, but I go over there. Barbie reaches it. But at least as, as Barbie's reaching it, my arms, my arms up, and I'm putting it down. Good recovery, good movement by Daniel. Barbie does that return, but because I'm already there, look, my racket up, but my elbow should be up higher. Then when you do that shot, I can intercept, but poor interception really. Good defense, Daniel, but your head should be lower. You hit it, but you're hitting it from there. That's a weird angle. But maybe you had no choice in that moment. But you got a cross court. And then as I do a nice drop, you still had them. Did you load? Did you split? Let me see that. I just speed. And I guess in that time, that was the one shot you had. But more Mickey was saying, you know, reload, reset from that point. Let's see, Amit, again. Yep, you're sorry. You gave away the lift. He smashed at me hard. I did a wee, I did a poor response to the net and Barbie drops it. Do you know what I mean? Good, good reset. Okay, good net shot, good play, good two on one. Poor lift. Terrible lift. There's no point in giving away points like that when you got all the time. Don't know what happened there. I like Daniel, sometimes you vary the pace of your serve, just like mix it up a bit. See that one there, that was good. So that, that one he put you on your backhand, but you came on your forehand. It, look, you served, he lifts it up this time, the same. now you've done the same shot, but you're taking it forehand. You're giving yourself time to reset. Okay, Barvi, keeping the backhand for that one. So yeah, as soon as he served, all right, you come across, you should be, Barvi, you should be looking to come, to come across on the other side now. So he clears it. When he clears it like that, you got you guys got to split. You got to go sides. So you yeah a little bit more over. And then by the time you play it, you're taking it so low again. You're playing it right from your from your lower leg. It goes up. See when Amit when Amit smashes it to you like that. Remember, Amit comes here again. You need to be looking for that. As it comes to you, look at you. you your, your arm is down with your racket down. At that moment of contact there, you need to be with your arm up. You, you, with your wrist lock, you should be looking. And as that come down, you, if your arm was up with your wrist lock, you would have played that same shot again, but you wouldn't have done in that reverse, forehand, reverse backhand grip there. You would have been playing it comfortably forehand, and then you would have been coming in. All right, give me your feedback. 
like I said, man, it's hard to watch all fee- four people at the same time. But hopefully, this is um, this is good feedback. 